Hi Colin, it's Tuesday, and I'm ridiculously tired of school and work, and now I'm slurring some of my words, and I'm just, I am not at all here. So Colin, I really liked your commentary on The Greatest Generation, and about how we over-romanticize the past, and we make nostalgia out to be this amazing thing, and it reminded me that you actually wrote a song about that, link in the description. And at the same time, it made me think about all the potential that our generation has and all the tools that we have at our disposal that so many others before us hadn't had and how privileged and entitled we are to have these things and how just freaking amazing that is. That's so awesome, all the things that we have access to. Like, with this computer right now, I can not only make this movie for you and then share it with the entire world, I could also write a book or record a song or other impressive technological feats that I can't think of at this time because once again I'm very tired. Don, I think that the modern generation and the modern world have a lot of yet untapped potential and that it's our duty as members of this generation to seek that out. Not just you and me, but everyone. We can do so much more than we think that we can most of the time. We need to stop letting things be handed to us and stop being okay with letting things be handed to us and instead seek out the new answers and the new ways that we can make things easier for other people in the future so that they can then make new things for us so it's easier in the future so that we're always making the future just an awesome place to be. There's an XKCD comic about that. It's going to be linked in the description because I'm not like you and I'm just not going to remember the number or anything else about it. It's really interesting. It's about engineers going into the future to see how awesome the future is, but then in the process all of the engineers aren't there to make things happen. And basically, we are those engineers. We are the ones that need to stop trying to think about how awesome the future could be and instead focus on making the future happen. And Colin, I think that you and I are good examples of that. I think that we're doing a lot and that we have a lot of potential, both in terms of our music and your writing and some of my spoken word poetry that will never see the light of day, and also these vlogs. Colin, you and I both do a lot of things and we both have a lot of ideas, and even though a lot of those ideas are to some degree stolen from other people who have done things before us, at the same time a great man once said that everything is a remix. And just because everything is a remix doesn't mean that everything has to be bad or overly derivative or unoriginal even. We're just taking old ideas and refreshing them, making them new, refining them, improving them. I mean, one could make the argument that laptops are just a new version of the typewriter with far more connectivity and abilities. It's the same principle, a small machine that allows you to type words. But then it takes that idea, that principle, and expands it and combines it with new, other ideas. What if we connected it to a phone line and made it possible to connect it to other computers? And what if we then got rid of the phone line and did it wirelessly, like TV? We have it. <sighs> Come on, I'm really tired, and that blew my mind. Oh, so many uh, so many possibilities. Colin, if you and I are going to be members of the greatest generation, if we are going to continue to make that claim a reality, we're going to have to continue to do new things and continue to try and reinvent and recreate and redefine and just reverse revlog. Colin, I'll see you tomorrow. Anyone else, remember to like, comment, and subscribe or message us if you want. Good night, guys.